Today, your canvases are counting on you to fix one of the biggest mistakes of their lives. <laughs> by covering up a constant source of shame, a hate tattoo. We gotta cover up some hate tattoos? We just did foreheads. This is getting crazier and crazier. Today, you'll have six hours to cover your canvas's tramp stamp. Nikki, you won the flash challenge. That means that you have the power to assign the canvases. What are you looking to get today? A photorealistic rose decaying into a skull. Can I see what you have? Awesome. Oh, your skin takes ink like butter. Oh, good. I came into this competition needing to prove exactly who I am. And with every single day that I'm here, I get more and more comfortable in my own skin. Are you coming to Fort Lauderdale handcrafter or what? I hope oh. so. Dude. Now's my time to shine and prove that I can win time and time again. Nikki, let's start with you. In the sense of a cover-up, you nail it. You hit technical application here really well. You apply the ink to the skin in a way that gets rid of the underlying tattoo. That real deep, rich black that you get down there puts so much depth into the tattoo. And when you have those leaves, you can balance the black everywhere. Then it always camouflages nicely, and somebody can't go, oh, there's the cover-up. It's very beautiful, and technically, it is pretty perfect. There's no trace of the existing tattoo, and that was a massive tattoo that you covered up. Great job. Thanks. What you want to get done? Uh, I got a swastika and iron cross. I want to get done, wrong part of my life. Now I know where I'm at, and I want to go. Any ideas what you want to do? Maybe or? like a zombie nurse, cemetery scene. Right, right. I got to get it out of there. I got kids, and my kids hate it. Mm. Please do not give me a swastika. That says white power. At one point in this guy's life, he hated me. Anthony. I don't know if James is testing me with the hate or the tattoo. Damn. I can't let it get to me. I need to keep my composure so I stay focused. What's going on? What's the story behind that? I was just brainwashed when I was younger. Yeah, and when I got older and had kids, I realized, man, what the hell? I'm trying to do a 360. Well, I'd love to help, man. That's oh, yeah, I appreciate for. that. Right, right on. I've been trying to get rid of about 20 years, man. When I first got a tattoo, I was like 13, 14 years old. I'm like an idiot joining the Aryan Brotherhood. That ain't cool. That's not where I want to be. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're red, black, brown, yellow, green, whatever. Unfortunately, I've been a victim of hate. When I was wanting to get an apprenticeship to learn how to tattoo, I was told that the color of my skin was going to hinder my chances. To be a minority, it's actually driving me even more to do a killer job. So how'd you get rid of the swasty? I put a little chinger in the gravestone. We're burying the past, so it's perfect. Can't wait for all the stress to go off my shoulders. To be able to help this guy change his life is a complete honor. There ain't nobody going to beat this one. Let him know how it's done. Anthony. This is one of the most solid cover-ups of the day. Definitely nothing of that tattoo is coming through. Shows really good ingenuity having to draw that tombstone just right. And you could use those details and the cracks to mask what areas you need to really get hidden. You have so many nice details in the hair. You have really fine, fine lines. You create this kind of ratty feeling, but it still shows perfect line work in there. This thing really, really shows strong today. You did a great job. Halo, you won the flash challenge. You now have all the power to assign the human canvases. Don't make any decisions you'll regret. My strategy is to make sure that I give myself the easiest thing to cover up and give everyone else some crap. I would like to get a sea turtle on my butt. Can I see? Yeah. Halo. I'm not going home. It's a sea turtle? Yeah, swimming this way. You don't want him going to your butthole. <laughs> I'm swimming in, shorty. You know, when I saw that sketch, I was like, oh my god, this is going to be awesome. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's the type of effect I want to make. My goal today is definitely to outperform Scott and Maddie. Yeah, bud. Now, when the competition's getting tough, that's when I plan on shining. I'm going to stomp this tattoo. Awesome, dude. Thanks, man. Halo. As far as the cover-up goes, you had it easy. But this tattoo has such solid saturation over a big area of skin. And whether it's a cover-up or not, this is a great tattoo. You did a great job applying this. This is soft tissue. It can get overworked. It can look beat up. Yours looks healed. Canvases, please show the artist the tattoos you want covered up. This is going to be awesome, man. We're going to do something really beautiful for you. 
the rules of thumb when approaching a cover-up are you're not covering a tattoo. What you're doing is you're actually camouflaging it. The darks are always going to be there. The blacks certainly always going to be there. So what you're trying to do is work with what's there and make something brand new for the person. I lay down 90% of my clients just to make them comfortable and feel at ease throughout the whole entire tattoo, and that helps so much. Tommy, come on up front. You did an excellent job with the cover-up. It was definitely tricky. And even in the parts where the former tattoo might show a little bit, you put wispy lines to help make it look like there's stuff going on there. If I had to say anything negative about it, it's just that some of the areas in the cover-up area use some white highlights a little bit, which might get a little muddy over time. But you did a really good job. And what did you want to get covered up? Uh, Celtic cross on my back. What would you like to get it covered up uh, with? An outstretched owl, black and gray. One of you is going to be with that. Oh, that shit. Woo! Look at those crispy lines. Those lines look good. I hope so. There's a lot of them. The most difficult aspect of this tattoo is just getting it done in six hours because the cover up itself will be the body of the owl, and then proportionally, the wings are going to have to be this big. I'm taking a huge risk right now, and if it doesn't pay off, I'm gonna be Jason. It's a very intimidating tattoo to try to cover up. You do a great job really punching in the blacks. A lot of detail, not only with line work, but with your directional shading. That thing was so faded out that your light shading pretty much becomes that same tone that's underneath, so it's very easy to camouflage. I think you gave this guy a reason to take his shirt off again. Great job. Yeah, thanks. The toughest cover-up is definitely going to be Jason's. To actually blast over a big, intimidating Celtic cross in the center of somebody's back is commendable. And it also turned out to be one of the most well-executed tattoos of the day. I'm going to go with Jason. Creepy Jason. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Jason. Jason.